Hey y'all, it's me here and I'm back with another story time. So before we begin, I just want to say please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy any of my content, whether it's the story times, the cooking tutorials, the anything else I'll be posting on them. <laughs> but if you enjoy any of my content, why not subscribe? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. This story time is gonna be about the time where this guy I was on and off with, like, I caught him on a date with somebody else, but we were on at this time. So, yeah, let's get into the story. So, we're going to call him, we're going to call him Tony. So, Tony and I, we had been, like, on and off dealing with each other, like, since we were real young. Probably, like, 16. Like, this is way before I was dealing with Sean or Lane. So, yeah. Um, he was somebody I met around the, like, the hood or whatever. Like, I probably met him at the Boys and Girls Club. I don't know. But, yeah. So, when we were off, it'd be, like, off for, like, months or to a year. But when we were, when we were on, it'd probably be, like, for a few months. So, during this time, um, we were on, we were on for a couple months. So, around this time, ended things with Lane. And I, this was, this was a wrap for me, like. The whole situation with Lane, we were we were done. Like I really called it quits. He didn't think I was serious, but we were literally done. And I've never dealt with him, you know, romantically since I called myself being done with him. Like that was years ago, over and done with. So I remember I had uh, moved into my place. I didn't really kick Lane out, but he he called himself leaving because like he got a place and of course that never lasts long it probably lasts maybe a month or two and then he's back at my house but he um found him a place he didn't want me to know where he was living for whatever reason like i really give a fuck but yeah so he caught himself leaving and i knew he was gonna try to come back but i wasn't gonna allow it to happen so i started dealing with tony again and like i didn't really see the signs like i was dumb as hell back then we wouldn't really go out on dates like we probably went to the movies a few times but when i see him it'd be like on he called me like letting out like what you doing you know it wasn't during the day hey you want to go shopping let's go out to eat stuff like that it'd just be like late at night you know and i was dumb and come to find out he had a girlfriend and she was calling my phone like that's a whole another story it was a whole bunch of trauma with this dude so so I remember uh, Tony, he called me and he was just like, you know, anybody, you know, selling food stamps. Now, I don't, you know, sell my stamps when I was getting stamps. I didn't sell them. But um, I was just like, yeah, I know somebody who's trying to sell theirs. And it was um, my friend or whatever. So he was just like, all right, well, ask her how much she got. Because if she got a lot, I'll buy them all. So, you know, we did the transaction and everything through me. We went to the store and he, you know, grocery shopped or whatever. We're in the store, we're grocery shopping, and then it's time to go. He, like, he packing up his car with the groceries. And then after he put the groceries in the car, he's like, do you got $10 you can give me so I can get some gas? And I don't think I had a job then. Yeah, I didn't have no job then. This is right before I started my job. And he was just like, um, I don't have no money or whatever. Just lying, y'all. I'm just like what you mean you don't have money i drove all the way over here just so i could help you out like at least you can do is give me some gas i'm only asking for ten dollars he was just like no i ain't got no money he's just causing a scene like why don't you you uh blah, 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 blah. just going off causing a scene like just doing the most i'm just like you know what it's not that serious whatever i thought you know me helping you you can help me out but it's cool whatever so i ended up leaving i went back home just like i ain't talking to him anymore he weird and I remember I had started my job. I had started my job the, the following Monday. This was probably um, during the week, but the next Monday I had started working my job. So um, during training, me and this girl, we became close. Like she, we called each other work best friends and we would just start hanging out after work too. So one time we went to Applebee's and Applebee's, y'all, it's my favorite place. I know it's cheap. A lot of people probably don't like it, but I love me some Applebee's. Like, I love their drinks, their little cheap drinks with uh, barely any alcohol because I'm not a huge drinker anyway. So, I love their little cheap drinks and I love their artichoke dip. Their artichoke dip is always fire. So, I'm just like, girl, let's go to Applebee's, get us some cheap drinks. It's happy hour and let's get some 
artichoke dip. So she was like, okay, friend, like, yeah, let's go. So we went up to Applebee's, like, it's late. Um, we went to the happy hour, the late happy hour. If do they still do that? I don't know, but they I know they had two happy hours one during the day and then like one at night. So we went to the late one. So we just in there drinking our little cheap drinks, just talking. We had ordered our food, we was waiting on our food, but yeah, we just you know just chilling, whatever, just talking. You know, um, she's telling me about her, I'm telling her about me, and and of course, I had mentioned Tony, you know, you get a girlfriend, you want to give her the rundown on your situation. So she gave me the rundowns on all her situations, I gave her the rundown on mine, and then next thing you know, I'm just like. I see somebody, I see two people walk past me and they sit directly behind us because I'm here. My bad, my hands actually, I watch them a lot, but I'm here and my friend's here and this table right behind us. So the girl is sitting right behind my friend, my friend, we gonna call her Ashley, sitting right behind my friend Ashley and then the dude is sitting right in front of uh, the girl. So I'm looking, but the dude in front of the girl is like trying to you know, put his head down to where I couldn't see him. You know, he's trying to not make eye contact. He's trying to avoid eye contact. And I'm just like, he look real familiar. So I'm like, I know that ain't Tony. And y'all, it was Tony. It was Tony. I even took a picture. I'm going to think about, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to post the picture that I took. I'm going to put it right here. So yeah, I'm going to post a picture of Tony. And yeah, that was that was definitely him. Like he was not trying to be seen at all. Like he kept ducking and dodging me. And so I told my friend, I was like, girl, tell me why right now, girl, right now at this moment, Tony is sitting behind you. She's like, no, -uh. she tried to tell her. I'm like, don't look, don't look, don't look. I'm like, girl, that's Tony. She's like, what you gonna do? Girl? I'm like, I'm finna go pour my cup of water. I had some ice cold water, y'all. I said, I'm finna go pour my, my cup of ice cold water. I'm finna go dump this shit on his head. She's like, what? Girl, go do it, girl, do it. She was all, you know, she a tourist, so it was like the same. She was talking to me. She was, she was all for the bullshit. You know, this when I found out that we was twin flames. Like, we was just alike. She, so she was all for the bullshit. She was like, go do it. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Because I, I do want my food. I'm waiting on my artichoke dip. I'm kind of hungry. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. But later on. And y'all, I'm just staring at him the whole time. I'm like, no, he did it. First of all, he just told me he didn't have no money. And then you out with the next bitch. Like, what the? No. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. And y'all, remember I said we was off and we was on. We was on this time. Like, he would come to the house, spend time with me. <sighs> why, Tony? Why? <laughs> like, I just kept thinking, I cannot believe he's doing this to me. I was so hurt. Like, y'all know the feeling where your heart dropped down to your stomach. I was so hurt. I'm so mad. And y'all, I had to call my cousin. I had to tell her what happened because... I'm hurt, you know? So I call my cousin, I'm saying, I'm like, Bree, my cousin Bree, I'm like, Bree, tell me why Tony right here with the next bitch and he was just at my house, this, this, and that, blah, 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 blah. Even though y'all told him I was mad at him for not giving me no money. I still, you know, was still hanging out with him because I was stupid. So, yeah. So she was like, no, nah, girl, are you for real? Girl, you know what you need to do. So tell me why, like, okay there was a window like right next to my seat and I could see my car from the window. Tell me why his car was parked literally right next to mine. Literally his car was parked right next to mine, y'all. So I'm like, oh, fuck no. And I was like, Bree, why he parked right next to my car? He couldn't see that that was my car. Uh, I'm just going off at the table, but I'm not being too loud because I don't, you know, I don't want to go out the scene. I'm just trying to wait for my food. I'm trying to get put out. So I'm like, yeah, like, he got me messed up. She said, girl, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. She said, you better go put some sugar in that nigga tank right now. Go put some sugar in his tank. Like, she was a horrible, horrible influence. If y'all seen my, like, my other story times, probably my very first one or my second one, I did a story time about where um I found out I was a side chick, and my cousin was trying to convince me to put sugar in this man's tank. It was that cousin. It was her. She was always like the bad influence. She did not care. Like my cousin, she's six one. 
she crazy. She was the cousin who was always beating up somebody. She even beat up all her boyfriends. Like, she was a crazy cousin. So, she just never cared. She never gave a fuck. So, she's telling me, I need to do the same. <laughs> Like, I don't know if I could do it. What if what if he catches me putting sugar in his sink? Because like I said, he's sitting right behind me. There's windows right next to him. What if he sees me putting sugar in his tank? She's like, girl, I'll go down there right now and I'll beat his ass. If he, if he say anything to you about putting sugar in his tank, you go out there right now. You put some sugar in his tank. I said, Bree, I'm at a restaurant. I don't have no sugar. There's no sugar at these tables. She's like, all right, so ain't no stories next to you? I'm like no uh yeah i think there are stores next to me because we were like in a plaza and she's like all right all right so when you know what your food go to the nearest store that you see go buy some sugar and put it in his tank i said okay 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 I i'll put some sugar in his tank so we ate our food y'all tell me he sees me like he clearly sees me so we ate our food or whatever and we leave. So we're standing by the car, you know, I'm just still debating whether or not I should put sugar in his tank. And then my friend, like I said, we the same. She try to make me put the sugar in his tank. She's like, if you don't want to do it, I'll do it. I was like, you do it? She's like, yeah. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So we went to the store. We had walked over to the closest store and then I had got some sugar like it wasn't one of those stores like a grocery store but they had um little small packets of sugar so we got like 20 or 30 of those we just grabbed a whole lot of sugar and then we walked back over to my car where his car was so um she's like you need something like a funnel so she got a piece of paper and she rolled it up and while i'm just opening each pack of sugar and pouring it into a little bag i'm just pouring all the sugars in the bag and she's like okay okay i got the funnel you got the sugar? You open them all? I'm like, yeah, yeah. She's like, all right, all right. So, you ready? I'm like, uh. She's like, you ready? I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. So, she opened up his, um, she opened that man's gas tank. I said, I'm not ready. I can't do it. <laughs> She's like, you gotta do this. He up in there right now. What the next bitch? He making you look stupid. You gotta do it. I'm like, okay. Okay, I'll do it. And I was right when I was about to pour it. I'm like, no, I can't. He's going to see me. He's going to come out here. He's going to beat me up. I can't do it. <laughs> she was like, girl, just do it. I'm like, no, we're going home. So <laughs> I ended up not putting the sugar in his tank. Y'all, I was so scared because, like, I feel bad. Even though he in there doing me dirty, he's on a date with somebody else. And he didn't want to give me no money last time. Well, not the last time I seen him, but he didn't want to give me no money. Like, I still feel bad about putting uh, sugar in his tank. Like, I just couldn't do it. So, we ended up leaving. I took my friend home, and then I went home. Tell me why two days later, guess who texted my phone? Tony. And he just texted me like nothing happened. I said, oh, so you, you going to play stupid? He's like, what are you talking about? Because he had texted me. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, okay, nothing. What are you doing? Oh, no, I'm just chilling right now. I'm trying to see what you want. I said, okay, so you're going to play stupid. What are you talking about? Boy, don't act like you just didn't see me sitting behind you at Applebee's. He was like, oh, uh, well, uh, he couldn't really say much because I had called him by then since he want to play stupid. I called him. He just acted stuck on the phone. And then I'm like, oh, uh, and you going to try to lie and say you ain't got no money? You taking the next bitch out to eat, but you ain't got no money for me? I needed $10 for gas. I'll try to help you out to get you some groceries in your house. I didn't even have to drive my car or nothing. But I'm trying to help you out and be nice. And you can give me $10. He was just like, man, it ain't even all that serious. I said, and I should have dumped my, my ice cold water on top of your head. And y'all, I told him, I was like, and then you had the nerve to park right next to my car. He gonna tell me, you act like a nigga knew that that was your car. You act like they stopped making them cars when they made yours. I was a pop, like, who are you talking to? <laughs> okay, so yeah, you admit, you admit that you see me and, but you don't admit that you're wrong. You can't admit that you're wrong. He didn't, he didn't think nothing of it. Like he didn't think that he was wrong in that situation. He was just like, I kept telling you, I didn't have no money right then and there. I just had bought groceries. But still, when you got the money, like you couldn't give me $10. Like what's $10 to you? He was like, man, you tripping. Any and all that shit. It's like, I cussed him out so bad. I'm like, you dead ass wrong because like, we've been knowing each other since we was kids. You can give me 10 funky little dollars. Like, 
what type of man are you? Like, you can just look out. Like, I'm not finna beg you for no money, but it's just the principle. Like, I helped you out. I didn't have to drive all the way to the um, damn grocery store with no damn car. Like, I didn't have to go get nothing from my friend, drive it to the grocery store, help you out. Like, I didn't have to do any of that. You could have called somebody else seeing if they have some stamps for you. Like, I didn't have to do any of that. I could stay my ass at home and kept the little gas I had in my car. Like, but he didn't see nothing wrong with it. Like, that's just what tripped me out, y'all. So, I told him, I was just like, you know what, Tony? I'm cool on you. I just, I don't want to see, I can't see myself talking to nobody like you. Like, I can't see myself talking to nobody as selfish as you. And then on top of that, like, you, you want to date with somebody else. Like, I could understand, like, if we were off at the time, but we were clearly on, you know? We were clearly on. You at my house, like, you was just at my house recently, and then you had the nerve to go on a date with somebody else. But when you see me, it's late at night. You just want to lay up and watch TV, but you taking somebody else out on a date. Like, I'm I'm not special enough to go out on a date. Like, I'm not important. Like, that's how he made me feel. So I just, I literally had to cut all sides off with him. And still to this day, he still called me. Like, I stopped answering the phone for him because I seen, like, what it was. You don't look at me as somebody you could be with you just look at me as like like somebody on the back burner so i, I stopped answering my phone for him and i don't see why he keeps calling me because like you're gonna keep calling you're not even getting no, no damn answer leave me alone but i don't know have y'all ever had somebody who who treated you like that like they would put somebody else before you that you thought that y'all was better than that but they would always put other people before you and made you feel like you just was not important, you know? So I had to hold my chin up high and tell myself, I'm way better than this. I don't deserve this. I am beautiful. I deserve to be with somebody and deal with somebody who, who respects me and who thinks that I am important, you know? Don't ever let nobody put you second. Don't ever be nobody's side piece. Even though, I mean, I didn't know I was his side piece. Maybe don't ever let nobody feel like you're not important, like you're not good enough. Don't ever be nobody's side piece, nothing. Like, you come first always, and you're the prize. Like, that's why I have to tell myself, I'm the prize. I don't deserve this, and I deserve to be somebody who respects me. So, yeah, that's why I stopped dealing with Tony. But he can keep calling, and I'm not going to keep answering, period. But, yeah, y'all, so that's it for this story. If you like this story, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.